always turn the camera on as soon as a noisy bike goes by. So, um, greetings again, part three. When I bought this window film today from the film shop, who refused to tint my windows, what I didn't realise was that they cut every single piece of film separate and not just one continuous length. It does seem like every turd on a noisy bike is going to ride by tonight. What that means is, instead of me being able to just roll the film out and lay the glass on and get it as absolutely tight as possible so there's no wastage and plus giving me some leeway to do stuff more than once, I can only do one window one time. So if I screw up, basically, I'm screwed. Well, I'm not going to take it lying down. Oh dear, I am going to have an issue. Um, it's annoying fly season. They seem to have um, arrived tonight. So uh, let's see if we can get this job done. Without, uh, let's put this outside light on, see if that might take the scent off. Yeah, there you go. Over there, boys. That's the one you want. Yes! There you go, see, look at that, huh? Look at it. Right then. So these tiny little pieces are just enough to do one of them quarter lights there. But I know damn well from thousands of experiences <laughs> that those will not come out right first time round. So I am now going to use this tiny little piece of film on this rear quarter and the other wonderful ball lake like I explained in my other videos is this film has a grain in it what that means is it's got a weave, a grain, a pattern it will only shrink in up or down where's this film come from? is that up or down? Where's that up or down? <clears throat> I've got no idea. There's no way for me telling, to be honest. So, that's the other problem I've got to work with. I'm trying to find out which orientation it's in. Get off my leg, you flying person. Right, so. Let's check the glass for grinding splats. No, there's just a cut mark now where they cut the film with the rubber on. Nice. Right. Oh, right. Well, I've got a feeling this could be an issue with these flies. If one of them gets in the film, I won't be able to post the video because of the language that it's going to occur. Side your liner now. You can't tell really by the, the shininess of the film, but I can't tell. Ha! I reckon this is the liner. No, I was wrong. It's liner down. That's the get off, get off me. Right outside the window, liner. So Liner up, glass up, place it on your window, orientate it to get coverage. Right, there's me 
he's inside that, he's inside that. If he comes down there, he's inside that. The only thing we don't know is which way it's going to shrink. Um, okay. Cut number one. Oh, I don't believe this. So, I've got me two top sides kind of where they're going to be. I've taken this straight line, because it's always nice to use a straight line, take that back to the dirt line. That's roughly double of where you want to cut the back line. But the way that's gone on there, the back line's quite low anyway, so... I'm actually going to put that back on there. A bit high, and then take the bottom off. The bottom's usually a lot thicker because it sits in the rubber. So now we've got... That's what we can tint to there. Keep that tight at the top. So really all we want to do is tidy up this back edge. And we can drop some more off the bottom. I think that's about double the... Where's the dirt line? Not very thick on there. So I'll keep that there where it needs to be. And drop that there. Right, okay, about there. Careful you... Oh, no! That's in my butt crack. How the hell did you get in there? You fool. Sorry about that. Now you hear that grunchy, grunchy, grunchy along the edge of the glass? That's knackered the blade now, so we don't really want to be using that again. Apart from on the, uh, the cutting edge. No, even that's knackered. Extreme edges off. So we've got liner up. So we can just um, pop that on that window there. I'll be back for you in a minute. Right, now I've got to try and set this up, so... That's not... fantastic. Don't forget, I'm trying to do this in the third world. Uh, I have no access to my tint shop anymore. But this will give you guys an idea of what you can do. Just a little bit of practice, right. Wipe your top edge. Dirt lurks up on the edge. It capillaries into the film. Same on the side. Bottom. The volume of water running off it. it should keep the bottom clear. Always wipe your blade. Oh, it's one on my neck. Don't touch my neck. And if you did watch all the way through my um, rear window, which is the money shot, part B, you'll see that I got a tiny little eyelash trapped in the back window, which I managed to retrieve. Save the day. 
Right, just wet the general area. Try and tamp down any um uh, dust, he says, as he chews on the film. Hold the film with the back of your nail. Give it a quick rinse. Get it nice and wet. Leave it still attached right at the very top. Ideally, you don't want to go too high with the water because it leaves you open to um, picking up dust. Right, I folded that over on itself. Try not to let the film go over the top edge. It's all about picking up dust. This is now free floating. So, get it right up to your top corner, just in case your corner is a bit shorter than you'd like it to be. Start tamping it down. Pretty soon it'll be apparent if the curve of the glass doesn't want to play ball. And there's a turd in this one as well. Microscopic piece of dust just there. God, it's so small. I can barely see it. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can just shotgun that bastard out, but uh, I don't think we'll get away with this because I already gave it a temp. Oh, ha! It's out. It's out. Little melon farmer. Right. Final resting place of this film is it's gone a little bit over. Yeah, it has gone over there. But we're still inside the dirt line here where we need to be inside the dirt lines. So nothing's going to show when we put the rubber on. You gotta be careful of the very top corner. Sometimes it can be nasty. Um, and it's fingering, which is what these are. Because of the curve in the glass. So basically, I'm just gonna, as you keep forcing the film around and force the water out, you're actually stretching the film about so it will try to finger. I've also picked up some dirt there. But there's nothing I can do about that, not on this uh, this application. So we'll leave that to tamp down and then with a good... You're kidding me. How the fuck did you get in there? Get the hell out. Sorry about that. Nothing goes around the jewels without my permission. So, yeah, we're going to cut around that one once it's tamped down dry. What I'd normally do now is put it out in the sun, but uh, that ain't happening. Not this time of night. I am a little bit into one of my beers already. So we'll pick up the next one. Clean this one up. tiny little piece of film they've supplied me with just enough to do one now hopefully now these here these bigger ones these were the ones that they'd uh, actually cut for those quarters there but because I've managed to do it with the tiny bits of film it means I can get probably four out of those two pieces when I go to do these and four is a conservative estimate I think one of my darkest days was on a Cavalier many, 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 over a decade ago. 
and I actually did one window 11 times before I could get it right. It was just one of those days. I swore I was never going to tint film again after that. Right, liner down. What have they give? Oh, actually, this is on the inside. Oh, but quite, no, I haven't. Let's put it on the outside. Right, check again. Liner up, window up. Stick it on, look for your dirt marks. That's inside, that's nowhere near. That's inside, that's nowhere near. Hmm. They might have got me here. Oh, wait a minute. That's... Close. That's quite close too. Is there a cigar? Um, what, what can I get with that? Come back a bit. I can see. I know you can, but I can see the dirt mark. I'm gonna chance. Let's take that to the edge. Right, so we'll leave that on the edge and then we'll cut the bottom edge. That will no, that's uh oh no, we'll use this one. Oh no we can't, this blade's annihilated. Oh god, that's like trying to cut it with a piece of sandpaper. Get off me! Right, stop peeing around. Get yourself a new blade. He's oh damn my shirt. Mini Tron. Mini Tron. Mini Tron. Great. She's never there when you want her. Help me, love. There's a fly down the back of my shirt. Can you get it out, please? Whoops. Um, yeah, okay. Never a dull moment here. Right. I can't really see that, so I'm gonna guess. Have a, have a look down my back, love. There's a fly about here. Look up the shirt. No, I was there. I'll just have one of my pants just now. Look, I've just had to mash one up on my belly while I'm making a video, of course. All right, love, thanks. Uh, it's on my neck. Oh, no, it's my... That's the label. No, love, it's still here. There it is, there, it's just fell out my shirt there. It's gone all the way around, it's just fell out my shirt now. Right. Okay, so bring the bottom edge up. Bring your front edge forward, a bit conservative, because uh, you can't add it on once you cut off too much. Just get it. Corner. Pin the film down. Right now, that looks to be more, more than enough. So we can take that up a little bit. Take that back a little bit. There's something still tickling me. Oh, you are kidding me! Excuse me, everybody. Another one. Right. Sometimes you don't want to start when you want it to. Now that back edge looks really squared off, but looking at the dirt line there, it'll be all up inside the film. So we will 
bang that one on as is. Try not to touch the pump with your fingers. Right. So just start the film off. Back of your finger now. Right. I'm just going to leave the bottom corner at the back attached. Right, he's wet. Side. Just try and balance it on there. Move all this stuff away. Shouldn't chuck waste film on the floor. It is like walking on ice. But it'll be all right until we got this on. Check for shrapnel. Nothing stuck to the glass. Now it feels good. Wipe the top, wipe the back, wipe the vertical. towel. If you stick your fingers on the glass you've got to wash it again. Right, wet down. Bite your film. <laughs> oh, stick your tongue between the two pieces, peel down your liner, keep the liner away from the bottom. Right, now lift it up the film, drop the liner off. And that's all there is to it. Right, orientate it where you want it. It will float around, oh that's quite dirty that one. Quite a lot of dust in that one. See, if this was all on one long roll now, I would have enough just to roll out another one and it wouldn't be an issue. But they've cut it all into, oh, there's a lot of dust in this one. Oh, well, shit happens. They've cut it all into tiny little flipping slices, so it is what it is. I don't get to play. I don't get two chances at it. That one is quite specky there, so uh, it might have been contamination from over there. But that's it, it's on. So, we just leave these two uh, set up. Probably gonna drop them down in here with all that dust and leaves. Right, there you go then, people. Um, let's rest that there. That's it. You can go out and buy some film and start tinting now. Good luck. Cheerio now.